Hey, how y'all doing? This is Will from Say How You Feel, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about, well, you just have to wait until this intro. Okay, so I've been gone for a while, not because I wanted to, just because I'm trying to get some things in order and trying to figure out which way I want to go. I've still been making t-shirts, I've still been doing my thing, but I've decided I wanted to start a t-shirt brand, a line, uh, whatever you want to call it. I've been toying with the idea for years of starting the Christian t-shirt line. Those who know me know that I'm a preacher, so of course, by nature, whatever I started, Christian t-shirt line. The reason why I hadn't is because it's so, what can I say? It's just more so didn't really want to figure out how to find that audience. And you would think, okay, well, you can go to church and they were there. That's not how that works. I know some of the pastors will tell you they only wear Christian t-shirts for make that make sense. But the reason why I decided to do it is because I decided in this stage of my life, I'm 45, I'm 46, I'm tired of worrying about what people think. Tired of worry about what everybody else does. I'm going to do what makes me happy. And I love wearing Christian t-shirts. I love representing my faith. I love representing who I am. And it's not all of me, but it's a part of me. Just like everybody else represents who they are. I don't knock people for representing how they feel. I don't knock people for living their life. I think that ultimately, we all have a right to live the life that we choose to live. I did time in the military. I feel like I went to the military so that people can choose their own lifestyle. So I choose the lifestyle of a Christian. The problem is, so many times in this space and in this day and age, it's always an issue when you find out somebody's a Christian. Oh, they finna judge me. Oh, they finna... I don't want to try the job. I don't care what you do. I got enough issues of my own. I got enough problems of my own. I ain't trying to fix yours. I can introduce you to somebody who can. That's all my job is anyway as a preacher. Just to introduce you to a preacher pastor. To introduce you to somebody who can. Now, if you want that introduction, great. If not, be happy with whatever you got going. Live your life. Because I'm going to live mine. So the purpose of this t-shirt brand is just that. Just so I can live my life. So I can be at peace and people who think like me can live their lives. Those who choose to follow Christ can live their lives and wear and represent what they choose to represent. And they don't have to figure out, oh, well, is somebody going to say something? Or is it going to be an issue? And there's a few urban t-shirt brands out there that are Christian brands that I love. Uh, there's a couple of them. I think that uh, uh, I want to be, be able to create a space where I can, I think it's enough room for me to create my own space. I think it's enough room for me to create my own style. You know, I love, uh, lately, <laughs> I really like to wear hats. Um, and I guess because I cut up my hair off, I don't know. But I, I stopped wearing hats when I left home in LA. I don't know why I just stopped wearing them as much. I still wore them. I guess because when I was in the military, you had to wear a hat. That was just a part of the uniform. And that's cool. But I was like, hey, I'm no longer military. I'm going to wear what I want to wear. So this series that I'm going to work on is my journey into starting my Christian teacher line. Uh, like I tell people all the time, there's three things I love talking about. Uh... I love talking about natural body products because I have a soap company, Just You Soap Company. Go check us out at justyousoapcompany.com. Shameless plug. But uh, I love talking about t-shirts and creating things from nothing. Uh, I grew up with that. Uh, my dad was a cutter in L.A. Um, and those who don't know what a cutter is, a cutter, when you come up with a pattern for clothing, in a factory, uh, in a warehouse, which is where he, one of my first jobs, they lay out fabric on this big table. And they roll it out. And then they put a pattern on top of it. And what a cutter does is they come through and they cut the fabric. Now, it takes years to be good. 
My daddy was probably one of the best in the city at the time when he was doing his thing. And the reason why it takes so long, because you're dealing with thousands and millions of dollars and hundreds of thousands of dollars on that table. One slip up and you just ruined the fabric. So, you know, not only did you ruin the fabric, you ruined the pattern. So they got to reprint the pattern now, or redo the pattern. They got to then turn around and, and, and figure out what they're going to do with all this fabric that you just messed up. You know, so the fabric is not cheap. Then nor now. So the thing about it is, is you had to be good at what you did. So, I, you know, I grew up with that. My dad did that majority of my life that I can remember. He pretty much was a cutter. So I love talking about Jesus. I love, he taught me this business. He taught me the game. And I know it, I know it well. So watching the, watching the uh, uh, evolution of T-shirts over the last 10, 15 years and, and, and the now any and everybody can do it. You can do it from your living room table. You can do it from your bedroom. Has has just made me happy because it's, it's creating wealth for people. But now it's another evolution. It's it's the thing of everybody can pretty much customize t-shirts. Their grandmother's customizing t-shirts. Their cousins customizing t-shirts. So is a t-shirt game oversaturated? No, it's a pivot. Because what everybody can't do is do your creativity. What everybody can't do is create your style. What everybody can't do is create your vision. So now as a t-shirt maker, you get the opportunity to create a, on a blank canvas. If you have never painted before in your life, you now get, get to become Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci. Because you get to create that masterpiece on that blank canvas, which is a t-shirt, which is a jacket, which is a hat which is, you name it, the sky's the limit. You can literally create whatever you want and find an audience for it. The biggest, the biggest issue is everybody's trying to figure out how to get everybody. I don't want everybody. I don't want anybody who says they're a believer. I don't want anybody who says that uh, I have faith. I don't want anybody. I want who God has for me. I want the people that is for me, my small community. And in doing these videos, that's what I want to do, create my small community. Nothing special, nothing major, nothing out of the ordinary, just supernatural. You know, uh, I want to create that, that space that of people who are comfortable believing in Christ and understanding the power of God and unapologetically unashamed of doing so. So with that being said, this is my little rant, my little video. My next video is going to be dealing with, well, I guess you just got to come back and check us out. So when you get a chance, please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you on the other side. Peace.